So when you uh, just click on this maximize button now, you will see that this desktop is not maximizing. So for that, we need to install a tool called VirtualBox Guest Editions. So for installing the VirtualBox Guest Editions, what you need to do is you need to uh, open the terminal. So you can just click on this option and then uh, search for uh, terminal here. And once the terminal result comes, you just need to click on the terminal option. Now, once your terminal opens, you just need to give this command. I'm going to provide this command in the description of this video also, which is to install some essential packages before you install VirtualBox guest additions on your Ubuntu operating system. So this command is sudo apt install built essentials space dkms space linux minus headers hyphen this uh, uname space r. Okay, so just uh, type this command on the Ubuntu terminal and then press enter and give your Ubuntu's password. I'm going to just provide my Ubuntu's password here and then I will just press yes here or Y here and then press enter. And after some time you will uh, see that all the installation steps are finished. So once it's done, you can close your terminal. And now what you can do is you can just uh, go to devices on your VirtualBox window. So just click on devices here and then click on insert guest editions CD image. And once you do that, you will be able to see this kind of window. So you just need to click on the run button here. So just click on run. And then you just need to provide your Ubuntu's password. So I'm going to just provide my Ubuntu's password and then click on authenticate which is going to open the terminal and it's going to install the VirtualBox guest editions on your Ubuntu operating system. And after some time, you will see this message which says press return to close this window. So you just need to press enter here, which is going to close this window. Now at this point, you just need to restart your Ubuntu operating system. So just go here at the top and then click on power off and then click on power off once again. Okay, so just click on power off. And here you don't need to click on restart, you just need to click on power off because we just need to shut down our Ubuntu operating system first. Now once it's shut down, as I have told you that uh, in the settings, you need to uh, go to the advanced settings in the general tab and make sure that this shared clipboard and drag and drop option is bi-directional and that will enable you to just copy and paste uh, your files between the VirtualBox and your host operating system. Now I'm going to start this Ubuntu once again, and now I'm going to provide my Ubuntu's password again. And now if you observe when I just drag this uh, window and make the size of this window a little bit bigger, the size of Ubuntu desktop also changes and resolution is also better, right? So when I just maximize this window, my Ubuntu desktop size will also change. So this is working now. Now I just want to test whether the copy and paste feature is working or not. So I just opened the Firefox browser on my Ubuntu operating system. And now I'm going to just uh, copy this URL, which is on my uh, Windows operating system. So this is the Google Chrome browser on my Windows operating system. And I will just copy this URL and paste it into my Ubuntu operating system. And you can see this copy and paste option is working here, right? So this is uh, working. Similarly, when you just copy, let's say I'm going to just copy this uh, text from here and go to the browser and open the next tab and paste this uh, thing here. You can see uh, you can paste your text from your Ubuntu operating system into your Windows operating system. So this is how you can install Ubuntu 20.04 on your VirtualBox in Windows 10. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.